and welcome to another flipped classroom tutorial on Scratch. Today I'm going to show you how you can program your sprite to do a jump and in particular I'm going to show you two very distinct types of jumps. A simple jump which you can see on the left and a more realistic jump which you can now see on the right hand side. So let's get started by opening a brand new project. Now my first one is going to be a simple jump. So let's go ahead and title this simple jump. Now uh, this is a code and it's going to start running when I click the green flag. Now this code is going to run forever so let's go ahead and select forever. Now within this forever statement I am going to do an if then statement. So if I press the button up I'm going to move up and then move down. So if and then go to sensing I press the key up then and moving up is changing the Y value so then I am going to go to motion I'm going to change my Y value by let's say 20 steps. I'm going to also wait for a very short time so wait for let's say 0 0.3 seconds and then I'm going to change Y but this time I'm going to do minus minus 20 Once you've completed your if-then statement, you can move all of this within the forever block. Our very basic simple jump is now ready. When I press up, my sprite moves up and down. Of course this can be tweaked, so I can change this to let's say 60 and minus 60. I now have a much higher jump. Time to move on to our more realistic jump. So let's go ahead and type in a realistic jump. Now a realistic jump will use a form of velocity and so we will have to create a variable. So let's go ahead and stop this script. Move all these blocks away as we won't need them. And we are going to go to data and make a variable. Now this variable will be called y speed because that will be my vertical speed so y speed okay I'm going to leave it up here but let's say that you do not want to display that then you can simply untick this little box we are going to leave our forever statement because this code will always run and again we need an if then so let's go ahead and select if then and I'm going to do the same thing as before so if my up key is pressed if my up arrow key is pressed I am going to run some code now the first code I'll run is I'm going to set my variable and I'm going to set it to 10 so let's go ahead let's go to data set my Y speed to 10 Next, I will add a repeat statement. Go ahead and select your repeat. Now in this case I'm going to repeat this 20 times and the reason for this will be fairly obvious in a minute. And what I'm going to repeat is I'm going to change my Y speed and the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to change my Y speed by minus 1. So I've already set my Y speed to 10 and now I'm going to go to motion and I'm going to change my Y and instead of just leaving a number here I'm going to use that variable. So I'm going to now drag this variable and I'll move it here instead of having a number. So I'm going to set my Y speed and then within my repeat I'm going to change my Y by Y speed. Now this Y speed will constantly change. 
So the way to do that is I am now also going to add the block change y speed by minus 1. So to summarize, I'm going to forever run an if then statement. Within this if then statement, I'm going to repeat something 20 times. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my y speed by y speed and after I've changed it, I'm going to change it again to minus 1. It's going to repeat 20 times and it's basically going to do 20, 19, 18 and it's going to work very very fast. So that can now go within our if then statement. There is only one block left for us to add and that is after it has repeated 20 times I need to set it back to minus 100. So set y speed to minus 100. What does this look like? Well, let's press the up key. My sprite down here jumps up and comes back down. He jumps up and he comes back down. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below in the comment section. And don't forget to check out the blog and other channel videos. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.